everyone, welcome back to the LFC Transfer Room. My name is Lewis, and we're still reeling off of the the Jurgen Klopp news. Uh, undeniably, it's something that's completely shook the club. It's completely it it we do, we don't know how to react. We're still trying to process the words. But the next thing that people are discussing, apart from Klopp leaving, is who comes in. Who's the successor to Jurgen Klopp? And there's a lot of names that are being thrown around. A lot of different people who could take over the mantle who people think is probably going to take over the mantle of Jurgen Klopp. I'm just going to give my thoughts on each of them, how I think they do, and which one I particularly want. We we all know who we want, let's be honest, but there's a few different candidates and they all deserve a mention. So we're going to, we're going to get the obvious one out of the way, the one who we all want, the one who we know is who the overwhelming favourite, so to speak, for the job, and that is Xavi Alonso. We've seen him at Bayer Leverkusen. He's currently top of the league. The only team unbeaten in Europe, I believe, top of the Bundesliga, playing some of the most exciting football that anyone has seen this season. Um, he has marauding fullbacks who contribute to the attack. A very good squad overall, very defensively solid, and he's proven that he's capable of managing at a top level. He's he's been discussed with moves to Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, and of course Liverpool. Alonso is the one everyone wants because he's proven. He's shown that he can compete at a high level. He's he's doing the Klopp style of um, management. Klopp did it at Dortmund, went up against Bayern, got the better of them. He then comes to us. And Alonso seems to be doing the same sort of thing. A very tactically astute manager, has managed in Europe, uh, at Leverkusen, he was at Real Sociedad B for a bit, I believe, and he did okay there. Everyone wants Alonso. I think because he's a former player as well, that kind of benefits us in terms of the fans will accept him. No one's going to be able to come straight in after Klopp and instantly take over the mantle. At least with Alonso, there's a pre-sort of conception there of who he is as a person, as a, as a manager. He'd be loved by the fans, similar to when Lampard went to Chelsea. It was He went in there already two steps ahead. It didn't work out for Lampard, but we think it would for Alonso. The way he manages is very similar to Klopp's style. It's like he's based it off him. He's worked under a lot of really talented managers, Carlo Ancelotti, Pep Guardiola, uh, Rafa Benitez. So he's learned from the best, and I think that's why Alonso is the favourite. Next up, we have... Deserby. Now, Deserby seems to be the, the second choice amongst a lot of fans. I did the live stream earlier on, and for every 10 Alonso comments, there was two or three Deserby comments, and from my perspective, I don't want Deserby. I really do not want Deserby. Klopp, for me, the way the reason, or one of the main reasons he stands out is because he has a... Him and the club seem to be the same in regard of the way Klopp acts as the way the club would want him to act. He's passionate. So is the so is the club. Deserve he's passionate, but sometimes it feels like it it's not genuine. Sometimes it just feels like it's sort of put on. I I something about Deserve just to me it just feels like he's a bit overrated. I think last season at Brighton he did really really well when he came in, taking over from Graham Potter. He got them playing better football somehow. They were unbelievable. They gave us problems. They beat us, and we've drew against them this season at times. That unplayable they've beaten some of the biggest teams in the country they've thrashed arsenal they beat united they beat chelsea they beat us but then they're susceptible defensively they're very much a sort of we score four but we concede three we had that it was brendan rogers we don't want that anymore deserby is a good manager for a mid-table team and while i do probably think he's second maybe the third best on this list I, he's just not for me. Something about him, I just think he's very overrated. Uh, his side does not like possession of the ball. They're a counter-attacking team. I hated when Liverpool played counter-attacking football. It's stressful. Nowadays, we want control. We want to be able to dictate the tempo of play. Deserby doesn't allow Brighton to really do that. Alonso would. So Deserby, for me, for all, I think he's a good manager. I think a lot of the hype he's getting is very off base and to me strikes me as a future Tottenham manager or a future maybe a Man United manager something along those lines he just doesn't strike me as a Liverpool manager and then next up we've got Pep Linders which isn't going to happen this one is just being thrown around because he's Klopp's number two I said he'd be a decent shout because he understands the culture of the club he understands how things run but it feels very much 
like when Steve Bruce took over from Rafa Benitez at Newcastle, he's just saying to the players, do what Klopp did, and that's it. He's he's not a bad manager. When he's come in for the temporary spells, he's looked decent, but at the same time, we have also had pretty poor performances while he's been in charge and Klopp's been away or ill or something, something or other. He, while I do agree that it would be nice to have someone who's been there, done that with Klopp at the club in charge, Pep just doesn't strike me as a leader. He doesn't strike me as that kind of authoritative personality. And his book is very interesting. It's really, really good reading. It's, it details everything. And he's clearly got a good football in mind. But I don't think it would work. It just it wouldn't be the same sort of thing. And then we've got Steven Gerrard, who is a no. It's a hard no. Uh, did fantastic at Rangers, unbeaten took him to the league title for the first time in God knows how many years, like 12 years, 15 years, something daft like that. Unbeaten through the season, got them playing really good football. Then he went to Villa, started off okay, and then petered off dreadful, got sacked from the job. He then has gone to Saudi Arabia and not won in two months. And I think Jared had the same sort of... When he... I don't put that. He was the one that people wanted to take over from Klopp when Klopp left because he was a former Liverpool player, he was the captain, he was a manager, he was doing really well at Rangers. Now it's just too far gone. If he's struggling in the Saudi Arabian League, he's not going to get a Liverpool job next. And if we do, that's ridiculous. And while I do think that Gerard, it could still be a decent manager, I just think the move to Liverpool is a bit too big for him. Some managers are meant to be at moderate clubs. Like Steve Bruce, I know I keep going back to him, but he was a Man United legend. Doesn't make him a great manager. Gerard had potential. He still kind of does, but he's not cutting it in Saudi. He couldn't cut it in the Premier League with Aston Villa and nearly got them relegated, actually. I just don't think he's the right man for us. Next up, we have Julian Nagelsmann, who's the Germany manager. Um, it, it's a bit of a weird one, this. I think it's because people think Klopp is going to take the Germany job, which he might do. It does make sense. He doesn't want to be doing full-time now. He would prefer to be in charge of an international team, I imagine. Klopp comes in, Nagelsmann comes out. He comes to Liverpool. Now, Nagelsmann's got a few things going for him. He was linked to Chelsea at one point and Tottenham, turned them both down. He's a young manager with plenty left in the tank. I think he's in his late 30s, and he's already managed Bayern Munich, uh, Hoffenheim. He's at the Germany national team now, so he's got experience for that young age. My problem with Nagelsmann is there's clearly a personality conflict. There's, he's We've had players who have said, look, he's... A great manager, but his attitude can rub players up the wrong way, and that's not what we want. We don't want that from Julian Nagelsmann. Whoever comes in from Klopp's going to have to have to have the same sort of mindset of a positive, player friendly environment, not an iron fist, because that's not our approach. It's never been our approach. I think the last manager who really had that was. Graham Souness, maybe Rafa Benitez. Everyone else has had a night, has had the sort of good management but good man management as well. And that's something that we need. Nagelsmann tactically is a very good manager, don't get me wrong, but I can see it going very sour very quick. He reminds me of a Jose Mourinho where he'll come in, he'll do great at the start, but things will deteriorate very quickly and he'll be out the door quite soon. I don't want that. If it's a long-term project for any club, Nagelsmann's a man to take in, but I just don't see it for us. And I don't know if this is because when Klopp came... We knew he's who we wanted, and we just thought, perfect fit. Long-term manager, won the Bundesliga, passionate, energetic man for Liverpool. It just, it worked. Nagelsmann doesn't strike that to me, and it's not something I want to see. Then we've got Zinedine Zidane. Same sort of thing as Nagelsmann. Zidane plays great football, though, uh, in terms of his management. Three Champions Leagues in a row, the third of which was against us back in 2018. He's proven he's got talent. But Zidane's been out for a long time. And to come to the Premier League is fine. Come to the Premier League all you want. But Liverpool next season are going to have an expectation of sort of Klopp's gone. Whoever comes in has to hit the ground running. I don't... I think that's too much for Zidane. He's a very good manager. He can be a bit pragmatic at times and sort of allow his teams to sit back defensively and park the bus at points, which wouldn't go over well with us. 
but he's got pedigree. He's clearly got a very good football in mind. It just feels like he's de- he just he's a Madrid manager and nothing else. And if not them, maybe Manchester United. I don't see it coming. I don't see him coming to Liverpool. I don't see it happening. He's not the man I'd want. He's he's a bit higher up in this list because I do think there's a good manager there. He's proven that time and time again at Madrid. He won them the league when he came back. He's won them three Champions Leagues in a row. Clearly got talent. Clearly got ability. He just does not strike me as a man. He's not a warming personality, and that's what we want. We want a manager who's personable. Zidane doesn't strike me as that. He just feels very cold, a bit Ten Hag about him, and I don't think it would go over very well. Plus, we've seen in the past that he has player problems, Gareth Bale being a big one. He excludes them from the team. What? Who's to say he's not going to come in and do the same to a Mo Salah? Who's to say he's not going to come in and do the same to a Darwin Nunez or a Van Dijk? It's too big of a risk. Now, there's... <laughs> There's a I've got the betting list up and there's a lot of names on this that I'm just gonna run through really quick and just say no or you know would they be good would they be bad because there's a lot on here that are just quite frankly ridiculous Carlo Ancelotti no uh, he was linked to us before we got Jurgen Klopp in the same window don't want him let's be honest Thomas Frank he has moments but I do think he started to dip he missed Ivan Tony and the good thing about Klopp is when there's players who are out injured we have other players capable of coming in and filling the gaps would thomas frank be able to do the same thing would he be able to survive without the van dyke for a little bit or salah for a little bit like klopp's doing or has done i don't know he's a bit unproven for me thomas frank still he needs to see how he gets on with this brentford team now and see if he can get them back up to form he is a player a manager who was linked to the likes of arsenal in the summer he still kind of is i don't see him coming to liverpool but again it's one of those ones I can kind of see it, but he's just not for me. Uh, Hansi Flick is a no. Uh, good manager, definitely, but it just doesn't strike me as one. Gareth Southgate, no. You can get gone with that. Jose Mourinho, not a chance. Diego Simeone, no. Far too defensive a manager. I would hate to see that style play at Anfield. Absolutely hate it. Graham Potter, no. See, it, it's moments like this where like all the things come out. Marcelo Bielsa, Antonio Conte, Rafa Benitez. Even if it's just a temporary thing, just to get someone in permanently, I wouldn't have too much of an issue with that, to be honest. It'd be nice to see him back for a little bit. Probably wouldn't go well, but again. Right, and that's my thoughts on who's the Liverpool manager. Bit of a sort of thrown together kind of thing these are that's my thoughts on who i think should become and who i think will and my thoughts on the overall managers if you are new around here please make sure to hit like and subscribe we're almost at ten thousand subscribers now um and yeah bit of a thrown together one but didn't think i'd have to do this video today because didn't think clock was leaving so thank you very much